Hello everyone and welcome back to the channel. James here. Uh, today we're just going to be writing some music. I've no idea what it's going to be like yet or how it's going to turn out. It might be complete nonsense. It might be totally just a bit meh. It might be amazing. I don't know yet. No clue what we're doing. Uh, we're going to be using this template that I created a while back. Uh, I used it in the developing an idea videos from a few weeks ago but a really cool bit of info for you which I only recently found out, this plugin is now 100% free. How amazing is that? You've got an entire orchestra, limited articulations though, but a whole orchestra to play with for absolutely nothing. That is amazing. If you're just getting into uh, orchestral programming or like film scoring and all that kind of stuff, if you're a beginner, uh, this is an absolutely amazing place to start. I would highly recommend getting this and the file size of it is minuscule it's about 100 200 megabytes or something it is so small but it's so much fun using this about two years i've been using this now and uh like i say it's amazing so there's a bit of free advertising for spitfire audio <laughs> uh, it doesn't mean to do it it's, it's not really advertising it's more of a recommendation of a good product so let's just dive in and start writing some music so let's pick an instrument. What can I feel we go? Let's get a tempo going first. What does this tempo sound like? Mm, it's a bit fast. I don't think I'm feeling that excited yet. Let's just... Yeah, 118. Let's go from there. Uh, and let's get a... Uh, what will we start with? Some cello short notes, I think. Let's just go with that. That'll do. And we'll make it green to correspond with the colours of each of the section. Strings green, woodwinds blue, brass red, percussion, harp and celeste yellow. Okay. Right. That's cello long I've hit. It's cello shorter one. That's better. Okay, so let's have a little mess about. Yeah, so that's an E minor arpeggio. We'll start with that. Yeah, let's just go. Let's have some fun. Drag that out a bit. Uh, get rid of the channel rack for the moment. So, do, 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 just a simple arpeggio in triads. E, G, B. E, G, B, G, B, G, B, G. Let's go with that. Let's hit record and go for it. I'm not going to have it play that many times through. I just want to find the best bit, the bit that's in time the most. Let's hold Shift and press Q to quantize it. Is that all in time now? That bit isn't. Ooh, that did give it a little bit. Just made it sound a little bit differently. Let me sort all these notes out. That was in the wrong place. Where's the other one? And that was a little bit late. That should be us now. Yeah, that'll do. And how many times did that go over? It went one, two, three, four. Right, so just keep it as four. And we'll get rid of these ones. Disappear. There we go. I think maybe we'll change chord at that point. Or we'll just keep it going. Yeah, let's keep it going a few more times. Let's go for it. Right, so in this, what we'll do, hold Control and press A. And that selects it all. And control and B, and that duplicates it. 
think it would be D for duplicate, but no. It's B. Duplicate. I'll just bring all this over. Whoa, a wee bit too much. There we go. Right, that should repeat itself nicely. And then we'll try to get something else going on in there. So, right, new instrument. What will we go for now? Let's get some horns. I like the French horns. They're lovely. They're big and bright. Okay, let's play. Yep, didn't work. Right, we'll just play single notes, won't play chords. We'll play the fifth. That works. Let's just put that in. Okay, new pattern. No, that's the wrong button. There it is. Right. Horns long. And they'll be red. Ready ho. And let's bring it into the horns long section. Right, how did I what did I do there again? to the B. Okay. Okay. I'll do it. I don't think we need to quantize that. That's all right. And what I am going to do is just copy this cello part over. And we'll maybe... Uh, Put something else, yeah, a different little line on the horns. So let's, tr yeah, let's just play along. Just move this note down a little bit so it doesn't overlap. There we go. Right, what did I do there? Moved up to the E, and then G. Yeah, it's just basically a triad, and then finish on the G. Okay. my microphone sorry let's try put something a bit different in not that silly silly man here we go try again yeah it's got a little bit more movement in it it's not brilliant yeah, I'm going to do that again. Right, one more time. Let's go. Yeah, okay, let's go, let's go there. I'm going to give myself more of a count in. Eight bars. Eight beats, rather. That'll go. That'll do. That'll do, pig. That'll do. Right, now something else. Another layer. And then we'll maybe start moving things around. So, what we'll use next from BBC Symphony Orchestra Discover. So, we've got some cello. We've got some horns. So, we've got a rough... It's basically, it's an E minor chord. So, let's get something else in there to support that. What will we use? Let's use some sh short 
flute notes. Yeah. Let's just go crazy. Who cares what it sounds like? Doesn't matter. Oh, I'm terrible for doing that. Do you remember to take caps lock off before we start? Flute shot. Take cap. Oh, terrible. My keyboard's actually not right in front of me. It's kind of off to the side. I'm only doing it with one hand because. But I'm terrible with computers and typing and all that kind of stuff. Music, yeah, I can do music software, no problem. Well, <laughs> some of the time. <laughs> uh, but yes, yeah, computer software, Word, spreadsheets, all that kind of st stuff we have to type. Nah, I can't do. Terrible. Right. Anyway, no more waffling. Let's just go on with it. I need to plug in back up. Right, so where are we? In range, where are we? Okay, so... I think I might do the same thing, but just maybe start on the first inversion. Or the second. Let's try it. Start from the beginning. Second version was better. Yeah, that, that's that's the. It's, it's okay. It's it works. It's working. It doesn't have to be amazing. We're just messing about. I'll be honest, most of this channel stuff on this channel is kind of going to be like that. We're just messing about, having some fun. We're not go intending to write the absolute masterpiece music or anything like that. Just a bit of fun. Why not? That's what music's all about. Having some fun. And now I've completely forgotten what I just played there. Was that it? Let's try that again. <laughs> works right okay let's go Two, three, four. that was it control z that That works, right, okay, let's go. Three, four. Okay, that'll do. All right, we'll go with that. I think we'll move this melody over a little bit though. Yeah. That'll do. And we'll clip that in there, good. Extend that out a bit, extend that a little bit. There we go, right, okay, we're getting something, something's coming together. We've got something from each section apart from the percussion. I think we'll go to... Yeah, let's go to the bass. Keep it simple, give us the bass. Bass long. Bass long. Get a new pattern in there. Make sure the caps lock is on once. There we go. Take it off. And again, take it off. Good. No more mistakes. Let's have some fun. But it's all in one chord, so we're going to have to create some sort of movement in the bass. Maybe just have a droning note going all the way through it. Maybe not all the way through it. Perhaps when the the second half of the melody. Yeah, let's try that. Bring it in now. Yeah, maybe slowly have it 
sorry, I keep taking that away. So you can see the actual notes that I'm playing. And we need to bring this bass in here first. Alright, so maybe just have it bold and then to the G. Yeah, just slowly bring in. So we are, we are playing the chord, but it's obviously not in triads. We're just climbing from the, the root to the third to the fifth. Yeah, let's go with that. Not yet. Right, so let's just go into that and duplicate it, or copy paste, whatever you want. Uh, let's give it a bit of a quantize first. Yeah, there we go. I think I did start off a little bit early, but that's okay. Move that across. In fact, let's just move that in so it's in. Yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, and instead of duplicating it, this is just another way of which you can go about things. Uh, hold Control, press A to select everything. Then just hold Control, press C to copy. And then Control again, and V to paste. Or V to vaste. Duplicate and vaste. There we go. Let's just move that out of the way. Let's... Right. That's us, I think. Is that in the right place? Is it in the right place? Not quite, almost. That should be it in the right place now. Yay! So we're going to need another one of them now. And another one of these. And we're going to need to bring in something else with that horn as well. I think we'll just repeat the first bit. Yeah, let's do that. Bring it in there, cut that bit off, take the second half off, and just drag it in there. Yeah, that'll do. Right, maybe a little bit of percussion. Well, let's just try something simple with a, a snare and a big bass drum. See where we can add some snare hits. <laughs> There we go. Right, okay, so I'll put this in as a snare. Watch the caps lock. There you go. And that shall be yellow. I think that shade of yellow is different. Ah, who cares? Doesn't matter. Right, so we'll put our percussion bits in first. We'll just start with, well, our snare bits in first, sorry, and then I'll add in. Or we'll do the bass first. No. Let's just do a snare. That was bloody awful. Do you know what? I'm gonna take I'm gonna start with the cello and then I'm gonna bring the flute in. Maybe the second time around. Yeah, 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 let's do that. <laughs> One, two, three, four. bits were okay, I quite like them. Da -da 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 -da. Da -da -da. Right, quantize all that. And let's look for the uh, the best bits that we can just cut out. That looks okay. So there we go, we've got the bits we want. Let's just make sure that's lines up. Right, 
right, and let's put that in the right place. <laughs> Right, that sounds about right. Let's just copy paste all this across until the end of the piece. Okay, let's add in some bass drum. Right, so, well, call it a kick drum. It's not really a kick drum. But we'll call it a kick because we've got bass named here. So just to prevent any confusion, it's a kick drum. Right, let's just have a play and decide where we want to put our bass drum. Not straight away. Wait till the snare starts. So now it's an even easier way of doing this actually. We just simply, doesn't matter where it is, there you go, just put a kick in, quantize it, and then simply just take the bit out that you want, like that, and then we'll just stick it wherever it needs to be stuck, there, and we'll stick another one in. No, not yet after that. Maybe we'll put it at the beginning here and then put it there and then on the beginning of every one. Actually, no, that's maybe a wee bit too much. We'll leave a little bit of a gap. We'll put one on at the very, very end. All right, let's see what that sounds like, all through. But you know what, I'm not too keen on that flute starting straight away. Let's just keep it up there. The cello going for a wee bit, and then we'll bring in the, maybe the, we'll bring in the flute just a tiny bit, not a full, uh, a full four bars or anything, we'll maybe just start it about, maybe give it one bar, just so that the cello's got room to be heard, if you like. Right, let's take the metronome off and have a listen. What have we got? We've got some cello shorts. I mean that wasn't, I think that'll do us for today, uh, just a, what was that, about 20 minutes, half an hour, uh, I'm not sure, after editing it will probably be shorter than that, but you know, for winging it, we've just came up with a little idea, a uh, little tiny bit of music, uh, let's just actually go over to here, yeah about 34 seconds of music, not too bad, um, so yeah I hope you've enjoyed this, I will be back doing more of these kind of videos, just coming up with ideas, just on winging it you know off the cuff stuff and having some fun uh it's not brilliant but it's not absolutely terrible so yeah thanks for watching and i'll see you very soon we'll do something else like this it might not be orchestral i might do some synthy stuff some uh some more beat focused things or i don't know what do you want to see what kind of stuff do you want to see comment let me know and i'll i'll try and accommodate what you would like but like uh, i said about that um BBC Symphony Orchestra. Um, this is now free and if you like the sound of these instruments, the samples are really really good. You do have limited articulations, you've got four for each of the, the strings, except from the bass, uh, two for the brass and the woodwinds, and you've got harp, celeste, all your untuned percussion. 
lots and lots of stuff in there. You've got everything you could possibly need to start. Give it a go. I would highly recommend it. It's a great plugin. Uh, so yeah, I'll catch you very soon in the next video. Thanks again for watching. You hit subscribe, comment if you want, all that kind of stuff. And I'll see you again very soon. Cheers. Bye-bye.